<laughs> okay, this is the two weights you're gonna need for this rig starting off. Uh, egg weights, this one's the tournament choice, which is the Academy brand. They're like a dollar something for a package of four or six. And this is the Dick Sporting Goods brand, which I really like. They give you good price on their lead, which not a lot of stores do. This is a four ounce weight, so this one's really good. For when you're out there fishing calm water, um, surf fishing. If it's real, real heavy water, you're gonna wanna switch to a spider weight. Which is going to stop you from sliding around all over the place. And from you. And that's just basically, it's all tangled up, but as a spider weight. Which is basically going to stop you from being like 100, 200 yards from where you cast it. And that's the hook you'll use when fishing for a big drum. But for this rig, this is uh, this is the one I use for crab. No, not fishing for crab. Fishing with crab. Uh because it's basically it's just real nice I, I like tying the well, so, so, uh, you can tie different knots with this it's pretty, it's pretty big compared to my hand there as you can as you can see so that's just a, a 7 knot or 6 knot swim bait hook Kamagatsu but I took the weight off because I needed one for crab fishing so I just and then for smaller rods, you can use the same system, just smaller rods, downsize the hooks, one ounce weight, because they're non-roll weights. And then for you got in fishing high current situations, well not high current, but, you know, when there's a, a little bit of current, fish those. And they're real flat, you can either fish these. Oh, that was cool. But if you don't like fishing with lead, you know, if you're environmentally, whatever it is, which I don't know why you're fishing, if you are, this is just a metal weight, you know, it's really big and bulky. So, like mine. I don't really like really. It's like why would you use that? You're gonna get hung up a lot more. So alright. And I'm gonna pass off the camera to cameraman. And I'm gonna Cameraman show Lopez! Cameraman Lopez, that's his name. So here we go. You're gonna get your forty pound trialine, whatever leader line you want. You're gonna find your hook. Let's go ahead and go with the second hook today, which is good for shrimp. Um crawdad. Fishing with crawdads. Alright, Browning Lake, which is what I fish. Uh, if you're from San Antonio, you know where Browning Lake is. If you're not, uh, you can look it up on a map. It's called Victor Browning Lake. It's just a real quick knot. I'm not going to tie it like, like I normally would if I was at the lake, but I'm just going to do it to show y'all real quick. If I, if I was at the lake, I tied about seven times around. That was just like three or four. Always moisten your lines so you don't get. Your line burnt. And you're gonna see, you're gonna go across and you're gonna snip it. You know, and put my tighten again. So when the first time you snip, leave a little bit of tag. That way, if you're not um not as tight as it should be, the tag will give something. And then you're gonna snip it again. Make it look nice and good. You're gonna get a good amount of your line. You know, however long you think that is. You know, I said it's uh, two and a half feet, something like that, maybe even. No, not three, but and then you're gonna get your swivel, which is disappeared on me. Okay. So yeah, the swivel. There it is. Up your vagina. <laughs> That's what she said. The swivel fell on the ground. Okay. So and you're gonna go to your swivel. It's kind of like tying a polymer knot. You're gonna go in through the same eyelet twice. Or back in. You're gonna go in. And out. And out. That's so where this. You can just free float like that. And this is an MGO knot, I believe it's called, or something like that. I'll look up where. I believe it's World's Best Flow Carbon Knot, or something like that. Best Flow Carbon Knot. Stephen Panau or Stephen Panu. No. If that's his name, we'll show you how to tie it. You know, and he shows you real slowly. So. For all you slow people out there. Show you how to tie it nice. Mm. Always moisten your lime. Because, you know. Don't want it to get burned. Yeah, you know. I've lost a lot of fish because of where my line was burned. When I say burned, I'm not I'm like fire. Like where the friction causes the line to weaken 
and you get that real weird looking look. So you know you tighten it out wrong. Or your line got burned. You don't want to tighten. You know, you don't have to use your teeth, but it's just what I use. You get your wire cutters. Be careful not to cut your main line. Keep your main line out the way. I did it a lot when I was tying. So make sure you have, you're going to have um, a loop and a tag. Well, they're both tags, but one's going to be a tag loop, the one's going to be a regular loop. And you're going to snip. And if you don't have real good wire cutters, you can't snip them both at the same time. You can snip them one at a time, but that's okay. And that's your rig. That's that's about as much as you need. Right there. You know, that knot's not too big. So, we are fighting that fish. She's going to get hooked every time in the corner of the mouth. Because it's a circle hook. It works just like that. A little bent from a red car, but it's a real good deal. And the line is H2O Express. I recommend not getting it. I got it because I thought it was a good deal. You know, a thousand yards for five ninety nine. I thought, whoa, real good deal. I was wrong. Don't buy it. Snaps worse than rotten twigs. And so now I'll show you with the slip weight. You now just put your uh, non-slip weight on. And you could just tie it on and get it in so it just slips like that. Or if you're using the bigger hooks, when you're out there fishing for the big, big old drum, you know, throw on your, your, uh, four, uh, your four ounce or three ounce weight on there. Hmm. Imagine we hit the car window with that. Yeah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> So I'm just throwing the one ounce egg weight. No big deal. It's real good to use. And you're just gonna tie it. Tie whatever knot you want. It's just a little knot that my grandpa taught me. No, my grandpa's not like a hundred years old. He's only like forty something. It's just a little family knot that we're gonna tie. I don't care if you say, oh, that's a see, uh, improved clinch knot. Or it's a whatever, whatever knot. Nobody gives a fuck. Exactly. So, you may feel big on YouTube. The truth is, you're not. Get a life. I'm making this video to inform the people who want to go out and have a good time. Who love to fish. So basically, that's your slip weight. Slip rig system. Good for red drill. So it'll basically just sit like that, you're, you're 30, 40 yards or so, cast it out, you know, if you're using those big 10 foot, 11 foot, 12 foot poles, you're out there 60, 80, sometimes even 100 yards, if you're out there using those 7 foot poles, okay, you're out there using 7 foot poles, you're there, you know, not a big deal. So, but basically, if you're using crawdad, the crawdad just be sitting around, and then comes Mr. Big Old Drum, donut, 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 he's going to grab it, and he's not going to feel this weight. He's just going to start swimming away. And eventually, as soon as he starts swimming away, that circle hook's going to do its job. And you're going to have um, the fish of a lifetime. Because of every red drum is the fish of a lifetime. Thank you for watching. This is Mr. Redfish Hunter. Rate and comment, Mr. Subscribe. Recorder Lopez. And cameraman Lopez.